it's me, Bussy, and welcome back to my channel. Girl, when it rains, it pours, and this week it is flooding with Drag Race announcements and drama. Today we'll be diving deep into the She Devil by Night Reddit controversy and discussing Trinity's latest Instagram story post concerning it. We've got a lot to untuck here, so let's get started. The gist of what's been going on is that since January of 2021, people have been accusing Trinity of masquerading as a black trans woman under the now deleted Reddit username she devil by night, which is maybe the wildest sentence that has ever come out of my mouth. Truthfully, this was something that I had seen and dismissed as yet another Reddit drama conspiracy theory, but Trinity's latest Instagram story post piques my interest. What proofs of these claims exist, if any? I did some fact-driven investigation and this is what I found. I did mention that the account is now deleted, however, its entire comment history still exists on the internet thanks to some magic programmatic API calls written by this GitHub user. Basically, this is a web program that can interface with some of the hidden databases on Reddit servers, including those which contain information on deleted users. Using this interface and searching for She Devil by Night, we can see that this account was active from September 24th, 2019 until January 6th of 2021 and frequented, actually almost exclusively posted in the RuPaul's Drag Race subreddit. Of this account's 450 comments, history, 457 of those comments were in the subreddit RuPaul's Drag Race, two in Spoiled Drag Race, and one in RPDR Drama. The first comment this account ever made was a comment in reply to a thread titled, Queens Who Surprised Production? The comment made by She Devil read, I don't think production wanted Trinity to win All Stars 4. Aside from her track record, the fan voting was more than double the nearest girl's votes and way far ahead of Monet's for her not to. I'm glad they both won for different reasons. And it didn't take me that long to realize while scrolling through these pages and pages of comments that most of them were talking about Trinity. I did a search and found that 48 of the 450 total comments in this user's history actually mentioned Trinity directly by name, and finding a comment that wasn't about Trinity was kind of rare. Let's read some more comments. On a thread reposting Trinity's latex mermaid dress, She Devil by Night addressed a hater criticizing the look, writing, y'all love to hate on Trinity here, don't you? LOL. She looks gorgeous. And on a thread reposting Trinity's homage to Chad Michaels and her like Drag Race Winners series, She Devil responded to another user who didn't like this look. It's a reimagining. It's not necessarily supposed to look or be Chad's style. In fact, Trinity has said multiple times that these are her interpretations of the originals. Why would she do an exact copy of the original? That's not the point of what she's doing. And on a thread where a user commented that Trinity was annoying, She Devil wrote, You love to hate her. Jealous much? That's the only reason I can see why you're so obsessed with her to be constantly commenting about her. And on a thread praising Trinity for being a hardworking pageant queen, one user wrote, What exactly has Trinity done that's so big? Quickly. And She Devil responded saying, One all-star has been on several TV shows, bought a pageant, has constantly been traveling, been in Taylor Swift's music video, as well as been to the VMAs and gotten a moon man. Not to mention her social media content has been amazing. And I could read these comments here all day, but the truth is that most of them don't actually reveal that much information. They're pretty much just hyping Trinity up or defending her from her critics. And it's also worth noting this account frequently talks about other queens on Reddit as well. On a thread reposting a photo of Miss Fame, She Devil commented, she is a goddess. On a thread reposting a photo of Van G, She Devil commented, stun. And on a thread praising Valentina in a lip sync with Monet, She Devil commented, Valentina was stunning. Monet is an amazing performer usually, but this was a total letdown from the look to the performance. I wonder if she was instructed to throw it so Val had that storyline. Monet could have easily killed it. But I read literally hundreds of comments and was still left with the question, who the hell is this person? The thing about Reddit is that it is mostly anonymous, and deducing the true identity of any Redditor can be almost impossible. But She Devil by Night did leave us just a couple clues. What is known about the true identity of She Devil by Night is that they self-identified as trans and on occasion use emojis with a dark toned skin color. On a thread titled, Trinity has no time for transphobic bullshit, which included tweets from Trinity about trans people not needing to introduce themselves with their gender identity, a Reddit user replied and described Trinity as transphobic. This user insisted that because of Trinity's past comments concerning RuPaul and letting trans queens on his show, she was transphobic. She double chimed in on that thread and wrote, I disagree. 
I'm trans and I wasn't offended. What she said could have been worded much better, but she was not transphobic. And concerning that account's racial identity, I mentioned those emojis. Doing a search for the whatever girl emoji <laughs> with that darker toned skin color reveals that it was used three times total out of the entire comment history from this user. One of those times is on a thread pointing out that Trinity was wearing rat earrings, asking if anyone else had noticed that. She Devil wrote, her legal name on Facebook is Ryan Haston Taylor, maybe a inside thing with her initials. R-A-T, rat, rat earrings. Right. Following that was the emoji in question. And concerning the true identity of She Devil by Night, a comment made by this Redditor on November 13th, 2019 read, I'm a queen in the pageant world and no other winner aside from Trinity is considered a true pageant queen. Doing a few pageants doesn't make you a pageant queen. That's like Trinity doing scary or alternative makeup a few times. Does it make her a Dragula style artist? One of the last comments ever made by this account read, I stand Trinity. She is my pageant sister. And ultimately, that is as close as we get to She Devil by Night identifying themselves. The comment history of She Devil by Night reveals a die-hard Trinity stan. No question about that. But it's also not hard to imagine such a person exists. Trinity is a drag queen that won All Stars 4 and has amassed like 1.3 million followers on Instagram. And speaking of Instagram, if you've been around for a while, you probably have noticed fans often create what are called stan accounts. In their most innocent form, these accounts repost content from the queens that they stan. And stan accounts are often the first to jump into heated debates concerning their favorite queens. But what about She Devil by Night? Was that account actually just a stan account? We are still missing one piece of the puzzle in our story here. Why was Trinity being accused of owning the account? And what has she said on the matter? A little bit of backstory is required to answer this question. So I did some digging and Trinity's Twitter history reveals that back in 2017 and 2018, she actually was a fan of Reddit. She she would repost memes and even advertised in AMA, Ask Me Anything, on her Twitter. And it was this tweet that led me to a Reddit thread through which she conducted an AMA under the Reddit username Trinity the Tuck Taylor, an account created on July 5th, 2017, and that still exists today. But over the years, her opinion seemed to change. In October of 2020, a fan was talking about Reddit to Trinity, and Trinity mentioned that she, quote, hates that place. Trinity's complicated history with Reddit becomes more important later, so for now, now just put a pin in this information. Let's go ahead and move forward to January 2021, when Trinity found herself in the midst of a Twitter and Reddit scandal that was calling her out for taking gigs during the pandemic. Regarding this topic, she tweeted, Unless you are going to pay my bills, then I suggest STFU about me doing what I have to do to survive. And Pheromone replied, I do love you, sis, but out of all the gals, you've been pretty fortunate this year. Let's not act like you needed this one gig to save your house. Using our names to fill nightclubs right now was not ethical and makes us no different than the circuit gays. Trinity then infamously blocked Farah and changed her Twitter name to Trinity the Block. In typical internet fashion, her critics were looking for more ammo to pile on top of their distaste for Trinity's antics. Two days after that Farah exchange, a user actually tweeted Trinity asking, this you? With a screenshot attached of the Reddit profile, she devil by night. Trinity responded, oh yes, I'm still on Reddit. And this tweet became the evidence that people use to this day to prove that Trinity is, in fact, She Devil by Night. On first read, I think it does seem to appear that Trinity is confirming to be She Devil by Night. But what is the truth regarding this exchange? She doesn't say, yeah, that's me, or yes, that's my account. She simply says, yes, I'm still on Reddit. Remember, this is somebody with 210, 100,000 Twitter followers that probably gets hundreds of mentions per day. Curiously enough, though, within the next 20 for hours, the She Devil by Night Reddit account is deleted, having posted the last comment the internet will ever see from She Devil on January 6, 2021, at 1251 AM. The comment was on a Reddit thread titled Fangi and Silky in Puerto Vallarta. This is ridiculous. Hashtag clowns everywhere with a photo of those two somewhere in some club without their masks on. She Devil wrote, I heard about this, but not even a mask to be seen. On January 7th, we do get a little bit more insight into the situation. Another Twitter user replies to one of Trinity's tweets saying, this you? With a link to an Imgur image that is now dead, but I think it's safe to assume it had something to do with the She Devil by Night Reddit account. Another user responded, holy f 
talking shit. And Trinity responded, if you can't see my sarcasm, then God help y'all. And this tweet I think is an important reminder that context and tone are often lost in online interactions. On January 11th, in regards to the she-devil accusations, a Twitter user asked Trinity directly, I can't believe Trinity the Tuck. Did you really do all of this? Trinity replied, people will make up and believe anything. And then we don't see Trinity address or mention this situation for quite a while. That brings us to today, August 18th of 2021. Trinity posted this note on her story. I'm going to speak on this one more time and then I'm done talking about it to people who will spread anything about someone just because they want to take you down. I have said it before, the Reddit drama that some kid made up saying that was me is false. You all should know by now if I had something to say about something or someone, I just say it. I've never been shy with my opinions. I don't have time to hide behind some fake anything. Reddit is trash. The people on there are hiding behind faceless screen names to talk trash about everyone. Yeah, let's believe them, lol. Trash. If you want to believe rumors some kids made up because another obsessed fan said some BS on there, then be my guest. But you are believing rumors without proof. You were the problem. You know I don't mind to block, so say whatever you feel like you need to. Blocked and I'll never think of you again. However you know my name, you won't forget. The end. And while we don't really know what prompted this note, it is clear that Trinity is tired of being called She Devil by Night. But all of the gossip surrounding this situation is truly just that, gossip. The fact in this situation is that there is no definitive proof of She Devil by Night's true identity. And the other fact is that Trinity is to this day denying that that account ever belonged to her. I wish, as much as you probably do, that with all of my hours of research I could connect a million pieces of disparate information I found across the internet and draw some ultimate conclusion on the curious case of She Devil by Night's identity. At the end of the day though, all I and anyone else can do here is speculate. But what good does speculating do and what impact does that leave on our community? The one thing I can say for certain, though, is that She-Devil by Night's intentions were not bad ones. She-Devil loved Trinity the Tuck relentlessly and would fight anyone who tried to tear her down. I could only count myself lucky if I were to ever have such a fan supporting me out in the wild like that. After all, life doesn't last forever and we will all be happier when we help each other and live life to the fullest. So there we have it. The She Devil by Night situation explained with the facts that we know are true. As always, I want to say thanks to you for watching this video, my generous patrons for making my channel possible, and I want to give a special shout out to Abel of Adams, Aiden Smith, Allison Lux, Anna Miriam, Anthony, August Everywhere, B-Rolls, Bradley, Brad, Cameron, Kathy, Cherry Poppins, Christopher, Claire Moosdale, Darmisha, Delani, Deutsche Leather, Devin, Dr. Martin, Evan, Flo, Fractalize, GJ Bearclaw, Got the Morbs, Jay Isaacs, JJ Bailey, James, Jenny, Jen X, Jesse, Johnny, Giovanni, Kevin, Kiki and John, Lisa Lang, Madam Muffy, Manos Leolios, Melinda Reeves, Millennial Hissy Fit, Nathan, Nick O, Nova Ringwald, Opal, Pasquale Nava, Poutine Levine, Randy Candy, Ron, Shannon, Chazzy, Sir John, Sky, Sultan, Tammy, Tony, Topher, Travis, Tyler, Vendetta, and Really, who were all supporting me at my hottest hot tier on patreon.com slash bussyqueen. And Ali Al, Angel, Cyrus, Felicia, Cody P, JB, Joseph, Josh, JP in Dallas, Laura, Nurse Luca, Matthew, Maxi Lawow, Robert Reeves, Scooby Snacks, Sailor, Steven, Tom Jaco, Tom Young, and Triton, who were all supporting me at my Bussy Queen collector tier. See y'all later. Love ya. Bye.